and this was the major problem in the development program, when you went from about Mach 2.4 to Mach 2.8, the flame would go out and water both engines simultaneously. The plane uh, yaws and, and shudders, the pilot's head was thrown up against the, co the, the uh, instrument panel, and it was a frightening experience, and uh, uh, it caused a couple of bailouts. Lockheed test pilot, a fine person, and had done an awful lot for the program, I think he finally reached the end of his, his tolerance. He came back from a flight, he took off the helmet that we all wore when we were flying, and uh, threw it on the ground and said, that's a twitchy asshole airplane and I'm not gonna fly it anymore. I'm, I quit. And we were saying, God, what are we going to do now? How are we going to get through the development program so we can get the operational people? And I said, well, uh, I said, I'll go flying with you. And uh, the next day, I guess about two days later, I went up with Mel Bodvedich. We flew around the United States for about three and a half hours came back and had an uneventful flight, and I was awfully glad I didn't have to bail out at 90,000 feet doing Mach 3, but uh, that was my only flight in the airplane. The director, John McCone, learned about this and was extraordinarily angry with me. He told me he'd fire me if I ever did it again. He said he hired me to run this operation, not to, not to be a pilot. I said, yes, sir.